Kentucky Agricultural Commissioner Ryan Quarles grew up on a farm over in Scott County, again, a long way from Princeton. Uh, in fact, that Scott County farm was one of the first ones I ever visited as an extension specialist. I got a call from a farmer who was concerned about soybeans and being new to the area, I asked where it was. He said, it's 10 minutes away. I think you can find it. And I did. So, and I got several calls back. So I guess it went well that first time around. But Commissioner Corls truly loves agriculture. He truly loves um, uh, the farmers, the producers, the industry, all that support agriculture. He also loves Alice Chalmers tractors, a lot, a lot. In fact, check out his tractor outside. He brought it today to complete the set with the no-till planter. Uh, we appreciate that kind of investment uh, into this project. Mr. Quarles. Well, good afternoon. 18 months ago, many of us gathered on this property and we had a groundbreaking ceremony. And 18 months ago, I quoted Leonardo da Vinci when he opined over 500 years ago that we know more about the stars above our head than we know about the soils beneath our feet. And since his time, we've had many developments. The telescope lets us study the big, the microscope lets us study the small, and now we have an improved scientific instrument here in Princeton, Kentucky, so that we can see further into our soils, further into our genetics, and to be quite frankly, further into our future. It's what the X-ray did for medicine, it's what Hubble did for space, and what the super collider is doing for physics. I too want to say thank you. Thank you to our legislators, the Ag Development Board, the Governor's Office of Ag Policy, the Governor, Dean Cox, President Capilouto, the Board of Trustees, and the countless donors and sponsors who gather here today in a public-private partnership to help support the future of an industry that is literally necessary for our survival. And finally, I want to say thank you to Kentucky farm families. When you talk about Kentucky agriculture, it's about family. And there's 76,000 of us. And this facility will bring us back together one more time. Kentucky has a long history of farm families. And perhaps the most famous farmers of them all were the Lincolns out of the LaRue County area. They had a son, a farm kid, who grew up to become president. And during the Civil War, when our country was tearing itself apart, Abraham Lincoln passed through a War Times Act called the Morrell Act of 1862, then later the Morrell Act of 1890, which set up the edifice and the structure for what is now known as cooperative extension. It's that three-legged stool of research, instruction, and dissemination information to the population which brings us together. And after a century strong, we can say that we're better off due to the vision of a Kentucky farm kid than our nation's most perilous hours. And Warren Beeler is right. The challenges are big. We expect the population to grow to well over 9 billion from 7.3 billion today by year 2050. We're going to have to double the amount of food we produce using less resources, be more environmentally conscious, and do it in ways that consumers will accept the science. We are part of the safest, most abundant food supply system in the world, and this facility will help us maintain our cutting edge and be the tip of the spear, not just for Kentucky, but for research to be shared around the world. And how did these farmers do it? How did we do what our grandparents did and double the amount of food that we produce in the past 50 years? Well, they did it by using Alice Chalmers tractors. <laughs> uh, and so, Innovation, it's innovation, 26 horsepower at a time. And so I am so happy that the families that really helped pioneer no-till, which is, makes put Western Kentucky on the map, Rankin Powell, the Maddox family, the Young families, and countless others. You know, the restoration of the corn planter started 18 months ago with an off-the-cuff joke about how nice it would be to have a restored no-till planter here. And I, too, just want to say a personal thank you, and also to Hopkins County FFA for a wonderful restoration job. How about a round of applause for what those kids did in the shop? 
You know, as we, as we look towards the future, it is wise to reflect on the past of those who walked or tilled the fields before us. People like Don Halcombe, people like Lloyd Murdoch, people like your family and my family, and generations before us who tilled the soil and served as stewards of the land. And long after we're gone, and when we fertilize the dandelions ourselves, it's about what footprints you leave behind. And today, I know that we left a big footprint in Western Kentucky for future generations to continue to be those stewards of the soil. Congratulations.